Good morning, everyone, and welcome to Ages How You Wed in Cozumel, New Mexico. day three it was two days to travel and now I'm at Cozumel and you saw the footage of the other cruise ships of course I am on the Carnival Mardi Gras and I can't say the weather is beautiful but as always every time I come to Cozumel it rains so hopefully it will not rain today and I'm glad your journey your journey and I'm glad you're joining me on my cruise. See you in a bit.
close to Maya. You did. So here I am. I'm on the island. And look, there's all the ships out there. And I'm just here enjoying the scenery. And of course, you've already seen the, the sights and sounds and the fun. But I'm going to enjoy the moment. So I'm going to show you just when I get here and when I leave, like now, so I can enjoy. But I gave you something to watch. Okay. See you tonight. Hello, everybody. So now we're at Mahogany Bay. Um, this is in Honduras and there's the island. Nope, they don't get rid of ships. <laughs> they just rust away. So, please enjoy the sightseeing. Since 1998, when the cruise ship began to come to Rotan Island, that's when the development began to come into Rotan. The cruise ship came in 1998. Before Carnival Cruise Line used to dock in Coxon Hall, which is our main town, we're gonna drive through there. And what happened? Once the Royal Dock, the, which the company is owned by a Royal Company, once the Royal ship are docked, the Carnival House to tender out. So they decided what they have to do. And as you saw in the beginning, I showed you my cruise, okay? And as the title stated, it was a free cruise. So what do I mean by free? Well, Carnival offered me a free balcony room. All I had to do was pay the fees, the port fees, and the taxes, and that's it. And I get a lot of those cruise offers. I've been on all different types of cruise ships, but I'm talking about Carnival right now, and that is the one who gave me the free one on the Mardi Gras, which is one of their newest ones i think they have another one that came out after that one so how was my cruise well as i told you i was in the moment so i'm not a i'm just not a vlogger like that okay i gave you tidbits i showed you the when i went on the island i showed you some of the food i ate um, so how would I rate the Mardi Gras? Well, like I said, I've been on several carnival cruises. Um, I will rate the Mardi Gras if I'm going to do one out of five rating, five being perfect. Um, I will give it a four 
So I'm gonna tell you some of the reasons why I did not give it a five. For one, um, the food choices. Not this is not for everybody because I'm a very picky eater. I don't eat meat, so don't take this as a grain of salt for you. But I'm saying for me, the meat choice. I'm um, not the meat choices, but the choices of food wasn't good to me. I was only left to eating. Um, if I didn't go into restaurants eating, if I go to the Lido deck and if you know anything about cruises, this is not everything about cruises. You need to find those people who do nothing but that. They show you the rooms, they show you all that stuff. You can find a lot of that on YouTube. I'm showing, I'm just telling you my experience. As far as the food goes, the choices for me was limited. Um, now the good thing I could say, because you know I like to do the positive. I don't really like to harbor on a lot of negative. But the good thing I can say is that you can go into the dining rooms. All of the dining rooms that the Mardi Gras has to offer, especially those you used to pay for, um, they have better options on if you didn't want to pay, but you want that great dining experience. So you can go into the same restaurant as those who are paying for a certain type of meal and enjoy the restaurant atmosphere. They have plenty of choices. And you, if you want to pay for an upgrade of food, then you could. If you didn't, then you got the usual. Um, and the only other thing is the fact that you had to pay for room service. Now, on any other Carnival Cruise I've been on, room service had their meals that were free and then those you could pay for. On the Mardi Gras, the meals, you pay for room service, no matter what it is. It could be a peanut butter and jelly sandwich, you paying for it. So that's why I did not give it a five. My room was... A room. I mean, I don't know why people say, oh, let's tour. You can't tour a, a, a cruise room unless you got a suite because it's a room. You got your big king size bed. You got a sofa to sit on. You got your sc big screen TV and you got places for you to put your clothes. Now, I did like the fact that they have the best so far, the best closet space I've seen. Um plenty of room they even have a place where you can open and put your shoes they had um uh so that if you are the type that completely unpack then you are good to go i unpack everything it's plenty of space and cubbies to put all your stuff and then the room was a balcony and i did show you the balcony view so I didn't concentrate a lot on showing you the room, the ship. That was not my purpose. My purpose, because I haven't been on vacation in a while. I'm not talking about going back home for the holidays. That's not a vacation. I haven't been on a vacation in a while, and I wanted to enjoy it. So they offered me, before I left, a suite, a free suite. So if I take up that free suite offer, I will do better at showing you a lot more of the ship in the room. So let's talk about it, guys. Oh, my goodness. I had a wonderful time. I showed you each of the ports. I showed you what I didn't go on a lot of excursions this time. Um, I didn't see any that I was interested in that I wanted to try. So I did go on a tour of. Um, and I showed you that each island had its own different thing. And that's what I liked. Each island had its own different atmosphere. I did want to talk about if you've never been on a cruise, I had to write this down. If you've never been on a cruise, guys, essentials that you need when you go on a cruise. I wrote it down. One, eye drops. And you're probably thinking, eye drops? Yes, you know the clear eye, eye drops, so when your eyes is red. So don't, I don't know about you, but I'm going to tell you about me. When I go on vacation, I don't sleep a lot. I'm trying to enjoy. I be up <laughs> almost dawn, okay? And you could do that on a cruise ship as well. It's so much to do, but if you're not a drinker, gambler, then you probably went to bed. I didn't because I gambled. 
So I like the atmosphere. I like the, I be drinking. I had free, oh, so I had free drinks, no matter what it was, all over the ship. My coffee, my water, my liquor, everything was free. That was included in my free package. So my room was free and all drinks on them was free. And I got about $400 in casino money to play with. So all that came with my free stuff. Um, so essentials, eye drops, I put them on every morning when I woke up. I put eye drops in my eyes before I took my shower. Why? To clear up because your eyes is not used to all the different, uh, you going to different places, you, you going, you might not be where the smokers are, but you probably walk past where the smokers are or, um, just being up all day going out in the sun going back in to the dark all this place it, it plays havoc on your eyes so eye drops please bring your eye drops uh your motion sickness pills whether you are a uh avid cruiser like me um is avid the word for that Anyway, um, I still bring motion sickness pills only because you don't know when you, a ship will run into bad weather where it is, you can actually feel the ship. Now, I don't feel the ship moving on a norm, but I learned my lesson because I got on, um, uh, one of the cruise ships and I, it was really rocky water. It was very, it, I, I, I felt that. So motion sickness pills, whether you need them or not, because if you buy them off the ship, you're going to pay some money. Let's see. You can bring a six pack of water. That way, if you don't get packages, you at least have your room water because the water in the room you have to pay for. So bring your own six pack of water. At least that will cut down on any water that you buy. And of course, it's free juice coffee all over the ship so they have those type of stations where you don't even have to pay for that but i don't like ship water so i always bring a six pack even though um i get water for free on the ship this was the first time they offered me the free drink on us package um i always bring clear bags so that i can put separate my dirty clothes from um my clean clothes when you're packing let me show you what i'm talking about this from amazon so i bring these with me for any liquids and any dirty clothes especially underwear that you want to separate from your regular clothes when you're packing so when i take something off underwear and bra whatever i am changing goes in these plastic bags and it looks it, it covers it holds a lot okay your your underwear is only but so big right so it holds a lot i recommend you always bring something like that um always bring all your essentials headache medicine in case you get a headache you know um music partying you could get a headache from that Always bring some type of, if you have trouble with constipation because of all the different foods and stuff, always bring your trusted pill, heartburn pill. Always bring that type of um, medication with you. Always. Uh, let's see. Oh, and don't forget your something to wipe down your room so that you can Lysol and clean your room consistently. I know they come in and clean, but you should continue to wipe down things yourself. Spray, they, you know, Lysol can come in a little teeny container. Get some Lysol, spray Lysol your room daily because you go on and off the ship. No telling what you're bringing on. Always when you come back on the ship, Make sure that you get all that other stuff off of you. So those are the essentials. I'm not talking about your every, everything else, but those are your essentials. So the 
Alan I had the most fun on. Well, um, like I said, each one of them had their own, uh, stuff going on, but I did the tour of the city of Rotan, and that is, on. Uh, uh, Rotan is the, I believe, the capital of Honduras. Um, I did that tour, and that was nice. We went to the rum factory. We even went to where they made chocolate, and I couldn't film that. It was just too much going on, but we toured a factory where they, they did chocolate. They made chocolate. We saw the, actually, the actual bean that chocolate is made from, which is not brown, <laughs> so that's so funny. But, um... So each one had, I enjoyed myself on each uh, island we went to. So I thought, oh, oh, and another essential thing, guys, ladies, if you are doing, going to the Caribbean islands and all of that, let me tell you something. I love putting on my little flowers in my hair. It made me feel so a part of the island. I don't know how to explain it. So, you know, I have braids, so I just put them up and you will see, uh, sometimes they look a little lopsided because I've been out and about, but I love these things. And I got them from Amazon too. And I put them around in my hair and I just felt like I was a part of the island. I did not. And I'm so mad at myself. I did. If you follow my Instagram, I did put some shots of outfits, but I did not show my outfits. And honey, baby, I had an outfit for every day. And I got so many compliments on my outfits that I was wearing. But I was so in the moment that I forgot to actually take pictures of all my outfits. Um, but I wanted to show you some of the trinkets that I brought back. First, my favorite is this one that I got from Costa Maya, I believe. Uh, it is a sombrero. And no, I might, no, I get, I think I got, I might, no, I got this from um, Cozumel. Um, and I just thought it was so well crafted. And you see it says Mexico right there. And ah, I just love this thing. <laughs> I just love this thing. So I got that from there. And when I went to um, Rotan, I got this beautiful um, uh, t-shirt. And you see it says Rotan Honduras on it. And it is just so cute. I love getting t-shirts when, when I go to the islands. Um, I also got some um, shot glasses. So this one, it, it says happy, let me see. Uh, yeah, this one is from the ship. It says happy holidays and it has carnival on it. And then I got this nice shot glass. Don't, don't ask me how I got this. Let's just say I got it. Um, and then, um, we went to, uh, Three Amigos and Three Amigos is, you will see that on, I think this was on the Costa Maya. No, it was, this was Honduras. This was, um, uh, Cozumel as well. It is a well-known, um, like, a uh, bar type thing. And, it has the three amigos right there and it came with a straw, but I, I ain't want the straw. So I got that. These are little trinkets that I got. I don't do a lot of getting a whole lot of trinkets, uh, because there's no point. I didn't been to Cosme a few times, but that sombrero was the first time I ever bought a sombrero. And that is really all the trinkets that I bought. So, you probably wonder, well, how can you get a free cruise? Well, I got a free cruise because I gamble. And the cruise offer comes from the casino. Um, but if you do a lot of cruising with Carnival, sooner or later, you either win one, I've won a free cruise, 
or if you cruise enough times, they offer you a free cruise. But they do a lot of um, bingo games and stuff that you can win. So make sure that you uh, be a part of those type of things and you could win a free cruise. So that is all I have for the cruise, guys. Sorry that I didn't do it as detailed as you probably would like, but there's plenty, like I said, videos showing cruises that you can go and see all the highlights of the ships. I love cruising personally, and I guess I'll see you on the next cruise. Bye, guys.